Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. It's Sissy Strut by The Meters. We are tuned to A, D, and G. So we are using the A string from a six string set to normal to A, a D string to normal to D, and a G string to normal to G. So here we go from the top. You're using the first string open and then you're going to go to the fifth fret, the third fret, and back to open. Third finger on the top note. So starting with the open G string. I'm using my fingers, but you can use a pick or whatever the heck you want. Now we go to the second string, first fret, first finger. And you bend it up a little tiny bit. So I'm pulling the string down to bend it up because we're way down on the first fret, which means it's going to be pretty hard to push up, but it's much easier to pull down. Just a little bit. So, so that's first finger on the second string, first fret. You bend it just a little bit by pulling down, then third finger on the third string, third fret. Now, here's the interesting part. The very first note is on the upbeat. So when you're playing this song, you, know, you want to tap your foot for the one on the downbeat, and then you play this note when your foot is up on the upbeat. So it's bum, it's... I'm tapping my foot, but you can't see it. Anyway, you'll get the hang of it. Listen to the record. Now, the second part. First finger is on the second string, fifth fret, and you're going to hammer to the second string, eighth fret. Well, it's not really a hammer, but you could. Or... All right. Now, listen to the record, listen to the record, and listen to the record again, because that's the only way you're going to get these funky rhythms. Lots of notes are starting on the upbeat instead of the downbeat. So uh, after you learn the fingerings on this video, go back and listen to the original version on YouTube and jam along with it and you'll get the groove a lot easier that way. All right, so one more time. Now you're gonna do, it's a two string chord I'm using my third finger to bar across the top two strings on the third fret. I'm only playing the top two strings. I don't know why I use my third finger, probably because lots and lots of years of playing bar chords on a six string guitar. You can use your first finger or second finger. All right, that's the first chord. Top two strings on the top two frets. Only play the top two strings. Now, you're gonna move that first string down to the second fret. Some people might use their second finger to bar and then use that first finger one fret below. I like to use my third finger and then my second, it's kind of weird. Anyway, I redo that's fine. how I, after I finish that first riff, I go right into that new riff. So it's, it's a... Uh... All right, 
right, so here's the new part. Third finger on the first string, fifth fret, going down to the third fret. Back to the fifth, back to the third, fifth, third. So it's bop, ba da da bop, bop. And that's only on the first string. That's the first half. Now the second half is bop, ba da 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 bump. So we have what three different parts? That's the two parts, and then I'm doing a rake. Not a very good rake. What that means is I'm muting the top two strings, but I'm actually playing the first string on the fifth fret with my pinky. My first finger is doing the muting, so I'm not pressing down the big string or the second string. I'm only pressing down the first string. So what you hear is... So here's the next riff. Notice how I'm bending the note up. Just a little bit. just came up with a few years ago on a six string so what I'm doing is I'm going first finger is on the what is that ninth fret with the first finger second finger is on the second string tenth fret move them both down two frets This is my lick that I threw in when I learned how to play this on the sixth string. So it's not on the original. On the original, it's. times but I do two down here and then two up here then we will go back to the top So, after all that, I did the whole thing twice, basically. After all that, you go into a jam. It's a one chord jam. And it's in the key of C. So, the C major chord is kind of hanging there doing this funky riff. And you can stay on that, that C chord. He's just kind of messing around and playing a couple of different notes here instead of just doing the octave the whole way. So first finger is on the third string, third fret. Pinky is on the first string, fifth fret. Those are octaves. And that's where the solo would be, right? So if you want to do a rhythm on that, just hang on that one chord and make it real funky. Another thing you can do is bar all 
way across, take your pinky off. Now keep in mind, uh, on the original, it's a jam, right? So you got three or four instruments kind of jamming. If you play this solo, you can kind of get that same effect just by kind of doing this funky bar chord. I'm just barring across the third fret, using my pinky on the first string fifth fret, and then taking my pinky off and putting it back on again. And do the muting, and that gives you the funk. That's where the extra, you know, stretched out jam usually goes right there. And then you go back to the main part, and that's the whole song. Now, I don't know if I showed you this earlier. I'm doing a rake. So you don't have to do the rake. But it's kind of cool. Just gives you an extra little tool to work with. So on that part, I'm only playing those two strings. Thumb is on the second string, first string is on the first string. That's the whole song, folks. Let me show you a couple of different things here, though, as far as your improv. So we are in the key of C. So I'm playing the pentatonic right here. We are tuned just like a regular six string with the A string and the D and the G. So Experiment with it, come up with some cool riffs, and be sure and subscribe. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitar since 2004. One, two, three, four, five, six. Strings, fretless, dizzy bows, ukuleles, all sorts of stuff. Be sure and subscribe.